everyone. Um, this is going to be a quick moment, but it's so, wow, it's so beautiful here. I just wanted to share it with you. Um, so I'm taking this walk in these gorgeous woods. Uh, I was working and I got to the point where my brain was just like, would rather play solitaire than get work done. <laughs> and so I thought I would reconnect with nature. And, you know, of course, as soon as I got in the woods, you know, the temperature dropped a little bit and I felt almost like, um, because today's a little dry and very sunny. So all day long, my skin has been feeling dry, like parched and I've been drinking a lot of water. Um, but as soon as I got under the trees, my skin once again felt like, like my skin, not you know, parchment paper and uh, I was just like breathing and I have to walk because of course there's mosquitoes and midges everywhere. Um, but I was out here feeling so good. I wanted to share it with you all. Um, but also I was thinking about earthing because like, first of all, the term cracks me up. Like I grew up in the woods and in the country. So, you know, people are making this whole program about earthing and techniques and styles. And I'm like, all you have to do is go outside and connect with nature or, you know, like you see, I'm wearing shoes. Whoops. Uh, <laughs> there we go. I think I knocked it off. I'm wearing shoes right now because I'm walking in the woods, but I go outside barefoot. I go outside wearing shoes. You know, I just go outside. Um, you know, people make these like, people tell me the formula for earthing, the process. And I'm like, man, it's just becoming one with earth. That's all it is in whatever way, whatever way it works for you in the moment. Like what if you're home sick in bed? and you can't get outside. What if you're in an apartment building 30 floors up in the air and you're sick in bed and you can't get outside? You can still do earthing because it's just an energetic connection. You just put yourself in a meditative state, give yourself a meditation where you're in the nature, the earth connection of your choice. It might be on this planet, it might even be on another planet. It might be in a garden. It might be on a mountaintop. However you feel, it might be in a cave, you know? You do not need to be barefoot. You do not need to be outdoors. Although I will say at this moment out here with all the moss, this is like such a beautiful healing forest. It's easier, <laughs> it's so easy. But if I'm like home and I cannot take a physical break to leave my space, I might go onto YouTube and put on like a guided meditation. The Monroe Institute has this beautiful one, which of course has their hemisync stuff that gets the right brain and left brain lobes working in cohesion where you're in a garden. It is just so beautiful. I think they call it the fountain of life meditation. Oh my God, stunning. So what I suggest is whenever you get a chance and you feel like it, just get outside either physically or emotionally or mentally because we're all made of nature. So we just can connect any which way works for us at the moment. And if you can't physically be outside, get outside emotionally, mentally. Uh, I know some people keep like, um, a little box of dirt or you know a grassy little garden in their apartment so they can put their feet into it that's nice too but you know whatever works it's just give yourself the break make a connection and you know be one with the plant oh my god there's a bird singing you know last night I was in bed and there was an owl hooting. It was um, a hoot that I don't normally hear. This was like, I don't know, around 11 at night. It was like, 
hoo 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 hoo. It was making that noise. Hoo 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 hoo. Like for like, I don't know, a few minutes. I opened my bedroom window and I'd sleep, you know, on the ground floor. And of course, we live in the woods. So I opened my window so I could hear it. And after a couple of hoots, along comes a fox going down the path right in front of my window, running away from the owl. It was so beautiful. And like after the one owl had been going after while other owls were going. So like the owls, I think the fox was trying to eat like owl eggs or owl babies or something, whatever. I think a, a, an owl was not comfortable with the fox in the area and it was putting out the alarm. And then other owls around the area picked it up like, yeah, we're watching you. And then the fox came to do 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 right past my window going in the opposite direction. And, you know, that was a great earthing moment. I didn't physically go outside. Um, and But, you know, the night air was coming through cool and fresh on my face. And there was a fox like inches away from me going sort of like the white rabbit. I'm late. I'm late. I got to get along. It was like moving fast. <laughs> so I didn't have to be outside for that. But today I'm outside. And um, look at this. It's so beautiful. I'm glad to share this moment with you. So I'm going to get off the phone because I'm about to uh, walk really fast and no one needs to hear my out of shape cardiovascular system huffing and puffing. Have a great day. And remember, there's no formula. It's just about connecting with the planet and being one with nature. Have a great day. I adore you all. Bye.